In this video, we'd like to show you how we restored the leather interior on this beautiful E300 Mercedes. Now, before we start, let's take a quick look at the condition of the interior so we get an idea of what we're looking at. Now, overall, the leather in this car is in pretty good condition, but as you can see, the bolts are as um, a whole, it's, it's heavily scuffed and it has a lot of general wear and tear, which is expected to be found on a 30 euro car especially this one, which has got 120,000 miles on the clock. Now, all these things make this a perfect little project to demonstrate what can be achieved using our products. So let me run you through the various steps we followed to fix these seats. Step one was the prep process. Step two, we mixed the paint and filled the cracks. Step three was the finishing stage where we applied the primer, paint and clear coat. Step one is the prep stage and in this stage we're going to be cleaning the seats and then degreasing them, basically making sure that the seat is ready for the subsequent paint process. Now as you can see there's a lot of dirt on the surface so we're using the Color Lock Strong Leather Cleaner and the brush to make sure that we clean every area thoroughly. Once the seats are clean we'll be degreasing them and we'll strip the clear coat using a product called the Solvent Cleaner. This is a very important process as it ensures the paint bonds to the surface very well. Along with general scuffing, the bolster also has a hole. To fix this, we need to glue a backing cloth on the inside of the leather. This cloth comes ready with glue pre-applied on one side that can be activated using heat. We've cut the cloth in a circular shape, slightly larger than the size of the hole itself, to provide enough coverage. We then used a needle to mark the center of the cloth and pushed it inside the foam to hold it in place. Then, using a spatula, we tucked in the edges, ensuring there were no folds and the cloth was spread evenly. Once the backing cloth is in place, we remove the needle and use the heat gun to activate the glue and stick the two materials together. The next step in the repair process was to fix the area around the hole and the armrest, which appeared very weak. We used Colloc Neutral Binder to stabilize the leather. This product is applied with a sponge using a dabbing motion and dried with very low heat. We applied multiple layers until the surface felt smooth and stable. Once dry, lightly sand the surface to get it nice and smooth. Mixing the paint and getting a very close match is key to an excellent repair. Here we are mixing our base colours to get an exact match. Now that the paint is ready, we will use some of it to tint the leather filler. The filler can be applied directly as it comes, 
but tinting it greatly reduces the amount of paint required to finish the repair. We covered the hole and cracks with the filler and the spatula and made sure the filler was applied only where required as excessive filling can cover the grain structure on leather. The filler can take 20 to 30 minutes to dry naturally and also shrinks as it dries. So once it was dry, we topped it up in certain areas. After all the filling work, we use the Colorlock GLD solvent to soften excess filler and sand the surface to get it nice and smooth. Before moving on to the colouring process, we wipe down the entire seat with Colourlock Cleaning Spirit to remove all dust particles from the surface. The finishing of the colouring process can be broken down into three further steps. Step 1 involves spraying a thin layer of primer which promotes addition of the subsequent paint layer. In step 2, we sprayed multiple thin layers of the paint that we'd mixed up before and dried each layer using a heat gun. You can also use a hairdryer. Here is where we can start seeing the transformation and what the final result is going to look like. Before moving on to the very last step, we went over the repaired areas to further fix small defects using the filler, GLD solvent, two different grades of sanding pad and recolored that area. We also felt the surface by going over with our hand to make sure there were no rough areas.
Step three is where we apply the top coat or clear coat to seal the repair. Mix the matte and gloss clear coats to achieve the desired level of shine on the surface. We also added a hardener to the mixture to make it more durable. Here, we sprayed two layers and dried with a heat gun. A day later, we sanded the seats with a very fine weight sanding pad to further remove roughness and wipe down all the dust with the leather cleaning spray. There you have it guys, I'll leave you with some before and after shots. I hope you like the result. I've included links to all the products used in the description box. As is the norm with every YouTube video, please leave your feedback and questions in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff thanks for watching